So today is not your typical Sunday. We're coming to you today from Tamu Snake Farm where we are going to be filming some venom extraction and some, some bits around the park here. So yeah. we've just shot a spitting cobra. Let's go do some more. We've got two more snakes to go. <laughs> That's okay? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so? Bitter. Yeah. <laughs> well, stay tuned to see whether I survive. <laughs> okay, so the next step is Adam's uh, going in into the pit with a snake. Because why not, right? <laughs> We're here to try new things. <laughs> I'm gonna go and wrestle a cobra now. For it. If anyone wants to know what happens when you upset a cobra, <laughs> something like that. All right, so on to the real topic of today's vlog. Today, because we like eating, we decided to do a comparison of local versus luxury eating edition. We're gonna take you guys for lunch in one of our favorite local spots and do a price comparison to one of the more luxurious hotels here in Watamu and stay tuned. Let's go. Back to the snake farm anyway, because we're still <laughs> filming. So here's some more reptile action. So you've got some snake sheds here. Snakes shed their skin fairly often. Their skin doesn't expand with them. So like an old snake may be shedding four times in a year and they'll shed the whole skin. So you can even see the eyelids there, tip of the nose, even the tip of the tongue. They'll start with the nose, they'll rub on a rock and then it'll start peeling off. Comes off like how you're peeling off a, mm -hmm. a sock. And something interesting is snakes will quite often go outside of their natural home range where they like to live and they'll shed outside. So to get rid of parasites. Another cool thing, lots of animals will use this as like a nesting material, um, birds, ants. What squirrels will also do is they'll come, they'll eat this, make it into sort of like a paste and then they'll rock, wipe it on their body to their scent. So if a snake is coming around, it doesn't smell a squirrel, it smells another snake. That's fascinating. Yeah. That's so smart. We're going to milk a puff adder now and we'll take you through the process of drying the venom from the start with the snake wet venom all the way to having the dried venom. So this now goes into a freezer where it'll freeze and then from there we take it into the lyophilizer or the vacuum dryer. These are all frozen venom, so you can see it in there, completely frozen. A funny thing with venom is it defrosts very quickly. From here, the frozen vial will then take across to the vacuum dryer, where it will dry the venom. So this is our vacuum dryer. There's venom in there at the moment. We have silica beads in the bottom, and then you'll turn on the, the vacuum, and that will suck out all the moisture. It stays in here for about three days, and then we'll take it out, and then you have your crystallized venom. That's like this. Once it's in this state, it's completely stable. It doesn't rot or anything like that. Stay tuned for part two and we'll explain what happens to this venom. So in part one, we did the milking process from getting the snake's bite onto the film, um, getting the wet venom, taking it to the freezer, and then drying it. Um, so now we're gonna talk about what we do with the dried venom. So this will be sold um, to an anti-venom manufacturer. And what they do is they make a whole load of different venoms. So from puff adders, mambas, cobras, they make a cocktail. In some instance, they'll actually analyze the venom and remove proteins or things which don't affect us. And then that gets injected into a horse. The horse creates the antibodies and it's those antibodies which are used to create antivenom. And that whole process from injecting the horse to having an antivenom is about a year. Hi. No more. Hi. How are you? Good. All right, so we're wrapped up with the shoot. And now we're hungry. Now we can get on to the real reason we started filming this vlog today. We're going to start with some local food, a local lunch. There's two or three places we might go. We're heading into town to have a look. Let's see what's open. Welcome to the place. The place. That's easy to remember. <laughs> I like it. I like yeah. the name. Okay. Malia, Malia, are you hungry? Yeah. Yeah. This is the hungry face. Yeah. Are you hungry? You didn't have breakfast today. I'm hungry, but you know what? Actually, I find when I consciously don't eat a meal, I can quite easily go a while without eating. 
So um, we've never eaten in this restaurant before. It can always be hit and miss with these kind of places. So we've driven past a few times. We thought, oh, it looks cute. So we're coming to try it out. So we'll give you the full feedback, including how long the food takes to come. Stay tuned for hopefully delicious food. How is it? I'm vibing it. Nice. And the rest is here. Put the whole thing in your mouth, mommy. Mama. When it comes to food, I can be a bit fussy. I don't eat meat, I eat seafood. Today I wanted to avoid it, so I just had something really basic like chapati with scrambled eggs. And I'll probably pour some of that curry over because that curry is delicious. So now we're waiting for yours, aren't we? Mm -hmm. All right, and there's the chicken curry. Decent portion. Chips, the chips are very good. Amalia has ugali with some curry sauce from my curry there. Ina has chapati and eggs. One one. It's so, not bad. Yeah, so it's basically just under ten dollars. Yours was the most expensive. The yeah. chicken curry was four hundred and fifty shillings. That's actually not bad. I'm intrigued to see what happens for the luxury dinner. But first, we need dessert. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna dessert. break up lunch and uh, dinner with a little bit of dessert. What did you order, Squish? What's the flavor of the blue ice cream? Marshmallow. It's marshmallow. Marshmallow flavor? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I'm going to have a coffee first because my energy today is just... <laughs> it's finished. Um, and then I'm going to go for ice cream or some sort of dessert. Okay, I'm going to join you for the coffee. Did you order yours already? Yeah. Show me. Ah. Wow, that's so big! So we're at Non Solo Gelato. Um, obviously they sell ice cream, coffees, you can even get cocktails here. Some food stuff as well. Yeah, we always go to Michimie, but people always, like the locals come here. And Andreas, that's another ice cream yeah, place, we but we don't go there. Highly recommended, Maria's ice cream is the I'm gonna go and try something as well. Yeah, the thing that makes this place slightly more unique is it's like a cross between a cafe, bar, and deli. All right, so the local has been done. There's been an intermission of ice cream achieved. We had well-needed coffee, and now it's time for the luxury part of today's vlog. So we're heading out to one of Watamu's nicest hotels, which is Medina Palms, where they also do some pretty good food. Let's see how close to 1,100 shillings we can get it here at Medina Palms. The question is, does the price match the difference in quality? People said they've never seen me in a dress, so please. Look dress. at this hottie. There's Ina in a dress. So we are now looking at our first winter destination with like... We've I think been... it's worth reminding people as well what happened in the last vlog. Okay, so if you saw our last vlog and it, if you didn't, watch it up here. But essentially we next year will be leaving Kenya and we'll be hitting the road, exploring the world and going to a bunch of crazy places and showing you guys all of these crazy places that we go. And one thing we've been dreaming of doing for the last few years and have failed many times is a snowboarding trip. Yeah, just the two of us. We're gonna leave the kiddo with the grandparents and we're gonna hit the slopes for one week, two weeks maybe. What country are you looking at? Currently looking at Austria. Um, we don't know anything about where we should go. So we're like, if you know any really cool European snowboarding destinations, please comment down below. Somewhere that's affordable, but cool and fun. Okay, right, so let's... it's curry night here at Medina Palms and I've been fancying lamb, but the only curry they have is a lamb korma. I'm not usually a massive fan of kormas. I would like something with a bit more like 
heat to it, but I'm gonna take a rip. And we're gonna share a dal makani, which is lentil curry. And then what are you having? I'm going for the fish, fish tikka masala. Uh, by the way, we love Indian food, so mm. this we're quite excited because there's not a lot of Indian options in Watam. So Medina Palms are doing a curry night uh, every Sunday. So yeah, that's those are our options. Who's the third person that's Me. joining us? <laughs> we basically have like three dishes and they brought the rice to all three dishes and we have lots of different types of breads and stuff. But I'm quite excited. They didn't excited. bring the naan breads for all three dishes though, did they? They only no, brought they us didn't. one of those. They just brought us the, all rice. Three, three lots of rice. Cheapest but thing you can. It looks really good. Shall we do like a live tasting? Okay, try your not white rice. What do you want about? Why? <laughs> I love white rice. What are you eating now? Mm. The fish masala? Mm. Okay. Well, wow. has a kick. Can I stay soon? Did you make a mistake or did you pick the right dish? So, it's very nice. 100% not a korma. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Has it got a kick? A nice kick, like it's got a really nice kick to it. But korma, if you know anything about curries, is Very completely mild. mild. Yeah. This is really like rich, so I think I ended up with the right one. <laughs> there you go. Let's dig in. How was your food? Very nice. Every dish had a kick to it. My stomach is pretty full now. Lots of bread, lots of rice. No desserts though. No, we, no. we skipped the dessert. Um, so now we're going to head back to ours and give a full comprehensive comparison between these two very good restaurants. All right, home safe and sound. And time to compare our experience in these two restaurants. We didn't actually go through the final bill for Medina, Medina. Palms. So obviously the one for um, the place in Watama was 1,100. It wasn't including drinks. So we're gonna minus off the drinks from this bill, which brings us to a total of 4,100 shillings. So it's essentially four times the cost of the place. Now, some pros and cons here. Obviously, the one that at, at the place, the 1,100 shillings, we did wait one hour for our food, right? Yeah. So it was very, very nice. The food tasted food great. It was delicious, though. Um, the staff were lovely. It was really nice. We were the only ones there, and we had to wait an hour. They had to go out and buy flour. I don't know if it was, it was for the Ugali, I think. They had to go out. So that's a negative. Um, with Medina Palms, the food came very quick. It was pretty good. My curry was not amazing. I was a little bit confused because it was spicy and it was a korma. And as far as I'm aware, korma shouldn't be like hot. Uh, it was the hottest dish on the table and it was a korma, which I thought Mine was, was nice. Weird. And I found um, the lentils really nice as well. Yeah. And obviously you're paying as well for the ambience of being in Medina Palms and everything. But I would still say 4,000 shillings is good value. I think so. Um, for, for a like, a luxury. five star luxury hotel not too bad expensive but not like oh my gosh expensive yeah so yeah all in all pretty good i think if i could only eat in one of them again i choose medina palms yeah no one we, likes waiting for their food an hour let's be honest it's true like we want to sit down and just eat. eat this is what today's vlog was about yeah it's a chilled one at home so we hope you guys enjoyed it let us know if you want to see more Sort of and if you're, if you're if you're Indian, I would love to know the <laughs> whether korma should ever be like hot spicy. I, from my experience, it shouldn't be. Korma is like the mildest curry that you can possibly have. Let us know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this little comparison. It was fun for us. But also, um, let yeah. us know if you picked between the two, which would you pick? Would Where you go would you for go? local food? Uh, you guys have seen what we ate, or would you go for Medina Palms? Anyway, it's, it's time bedtime. To go to bed. Good night, see you on the next one. Bye.